The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, today, uh, we are going to have a special program between 3 and 5. Today is the anniversary. 30 years ago was the first uh, uh, show for CNBC back in New York City. I happened to be in the uh, Marquee West Restaurant in Santa Monica, California in 1988 when that whole thing was born with um, Ron Insana, Bill Griffith, and Sue Herrera, who was the brains behind the whole thing. I'm going to discuss all that uh, at the 3 o'clock show, plus go some history of uh, all the ups and downs that I had through the years, what I learned, what I didn't, what I'm still learning, and what I'll continue to learn. So I want to share something that's happened across the pond today, folks. We saw the big fire over there at uh, in France there in the Seine River there at the island. And if we take a look here, I want to show you what's going on in England today, folks. You're probably not aware of this because it doesn't get the news. But uh, there's two people. They're having, they're having a big demonstration on uh, climate, uh, what they call it, global warming. And two people super glued themselves to the top of one of the trains there uh, right in the middle of the rush hour. And it just stopped for five hours. What they had to do was they had to cut the top of the train off and then take a crane with the two people and extricate them off of there, then get the train off the track, and then started. It was about an eight-hour ordeal. If you can stop and think how much money was lost at this, uh, really amazing. But the chart that I posted up here shows you the countries by population size. And as you can see, two of them basically take care of everything. That's China and India. That's probably close to 40 percent of the world's population. And if there's going to be climate change due to some of these things that are out in the air, it's probably going to come from those areas. You can see the United States is uh, quite a bit smaller than those. And, uh, you know, even you can see how small Russia is, you know, compared to uh, that. People, you know, Russia only has 77 million people, folks. You know, we've got uh, – no, no, it's 170 million, I believe is what it is. But uh, it's, uh, you know, much smaller. But Russia encompasses 11 time zones, believe it or not. So it's a really big country, but a lot of it is really uninhabitable. I, I don't know about the – I don't even got into it. Let's just talk about some things here. Uh, yep, Notre Dame Cathedral. Yep, it was. Uh, I've been there. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at a market that I really think is in trouble, and it's getting more trouble daily as we speak. Uh, we're due for a bounce here. This is the uh, Treasury bond market. We've been talking about this, folks. We're now breaking, almost ready to break the 146 level. We're at 146.02 right now. Going below that 146 is going to be a relatively negative thing uh, because that would be below the 78% level of the last swing. And uh, the key there is the fact that we made that big 61% retracement up there at that 150.20 uh, level. Now, we're coming into a really key time today, folks, for price and time. And that's the one that we talked about here on Monday. Here we are on Wednesday. I got those right. Hold on a second here, and we'll see. Uh, you'll notice here that the uh, double top that we're possibly looking at comes in at 29.25. The low we made the other day is 29.22. I fully expect that we're probably going to hit 29.25 this morning would be my guess because there's a lot of uh, – uh, earnings coming out that seem to be positive, and we should be moving up to that level. We could easily, you're right, uh, you're right, Maria, we could be at uh, 2965 by tomorrow. That's for sure. It certainly could. But before it gets to 2965, it has to get above 2929. So then we'll see. Anyway, we'll see what happens. But uh, the time and price on that squaring up nicely. The the uh, uh, Russell is lagging behind it, and uh, the banking index is certainly behind it, but it still has uh, more legs to go, one would think. So we'll pay very, very close attention to that. The gold, uh, we're trading down here at around the 1278 level. We're due for a little bit of a bounce in here. Uh, the gold made the small ABCD yesterday, 
and it should be right at the level that we're watching uh, right now. The the other one, there's a couple of new IPOs coming out that I really, you know, I've seen that Pinterest website. It's really cool, but uh, I don't know anything about it. I, I don't know. I know less about Uber and Lyft and those things. I just look at the charts. It to me looks like Lyft is going to get down to 53. I don't know, you know, where these things are going. All I do is, you know, just sort of look at the patterns and, you know, take a, you know, sophisticated guess at it. So that's really what we're what we're sort of paying attention to. But uh, I wanted to bring IBM up to you yesterday because we had a, a really nice pattern in IBM yesterday. It was a uh, right at a 50% retracement. Uh, also at exact 78% retracement of the high in October. Those were two spot-on perfect numbers. And uh, we're down about uh, uh, $4 now in IBM. So if you were looking to do that, you certainly want uh, wouldn't want the stock to get above uh, 146 now. You keep your stop as uh, literally as possible as you could, you know, be able to see. Yes, the, the NASDAQ is very, very close to all-time highs. I think we're at 70, I saw 7707 just a little while ago. But that NASDAQ is basically 25 stocks, folks. You know, that's uh, it's the pork bellies of that uh, the stock indices for sure. And uh, I would uh, I would put that on the number three list for trading. I would pick the Dow Jones or pick the S&P first. Then I would pick the Russell. Then I would pick the Dow Jones and finally the uh, the Nasdaq. But uh, that's just my personal preferences. You know, I've I've been trading the S&P since it first started and I had a Love affair with it for all these years, but anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. Now, let's uh, remember now, silver is acting relatively well, folks. It's holding up against these lows. That's another thing that makes it uh, very, very interesting in here because we've got uh, one more day to go for this week. We've got uh, the, the holiday on Friday, and I really expect a lot of volatility coming in the day after Easter. I, uh, I'm just looking at these charts. I'm taking a tiny bit of the astral things because we got a few uh, planetary things coming in on Sunday and Monday, but uh, we'll see. By the way, we do have uh, Norm Winsky uh, tomorrow. He'll be uh, he'll be our guest tomorrow uh, at uh, at the half hour, like he always is. So that'll be fun to listen to what he has to say. And of course, we have that full moon coming up, you know, on the 19th, which would be uh, which would be quite interesting. So we'll keep an eye on that as we look at some of these things that we go through here today. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, and we'll be watching some of these things. Another one that we're watching, folks, along with the metals, we've been keeping a really close eye here uh, on the platinum. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're down a little bit today. We haven't made new lows, which is good. We haven't meet, meet, made new lows in the gold either, but it's trying to hold up in here. Now, we, we made a small ABCD uh, in the gold yesterday down at that 1275 level, and that's 20 points with where, where we want to buy it. Now, I, I'll be one disappointed son of a gun if we don't get down to that, you know, 1260 uh, to 1255 uh, area uh, either tomorrow or uh, Monday. Uh, but, you know, I get disappointed a lot. All your frustrations in this business comes from unfulfilled expectations. That's right out of Tony Robbins' work, and uh, it's good stuff. So let's take a little break here, pay a few bills, and we come back. We will talk about uh, palladium for Ruby because she asked about palladium, and we're going to do it today. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at Palladium here. As you can see, we had a, this is a weekly chart, the big top up there, spot on 1.618 expansion. It broke $200 from there. When it rallied back, it only rallied back to a 382 level up at 1401. We're trading at 1353.90 or 1353. Uh, I don't uh, recommend anybody to trade this because the liquidity is very, very slim. Uh, sparse to say the words and I would not uh, recommend this at all slippage on this is really uh, a lot from what I've heard now we've had a request to take a look at natural gas and I actually think that the natural gas is probably breaking down here folks we'll get up here to take a quick look at it because we've been watching it very very closely uh, actually we're really we're, on, we're right on the money you're right uh, you're right Bob we're very very close let's get this up here so we can see it here and uh, uh oh, what's happened? I've knocked myself out of the room. That's not a good sign. So you'll have to bear with me until this pops up. But we're trading at around uh, two, uh, 20, two, 250, uh, uh, two right about now. And that 250 is the big 61% retracement on the weekly. It has to hold that. And I don't know if it's going to do it or not. I certainly would have to wait and see that it has. Uh, some way of holding. I don't know how I knocked myself out of the of the TFNN room. I haven't even touched my mouse. So, well, that's the way computers are. They don't like you sometimes. But hopefully when this thing kicks in, I'll be able to post the chart and you'll be able to see natural gas. Here we're about 30 seconds away and then we'll be ready to go. And uh, one, two, three. We go. Yep, we're ready to go. Let's just get it ready here. And you'll see the natural Yes, uh, we got a potential for that triple bottom down there at the 250, 252 level, and uh, it needs to hold that level because if it breaks there, folks, it's got another 40 cents to go down to the 210 level, which is uh, really, really uh, at the 78% level. And remember, this got as low as 160 way back in 2016, and it also got down there in 2012. So it has some... Uh, it has some history down there, so you don't want to stand in this, stand in, in front of this puppy because it can be really, really, really quite nasty. So that's what we're watching here this morning here uh, in the natural gas. The other one that we've been watching uh, is uh, the uh, hog market. 
because we believe that we're looking at some type of a pattern forming here in the hogs at the uh, uh, one, three, one, two, three, three drive to a top pattern. Uh, unfortunately, we backed off to that 97. We've been in a really tight trading range. We'd like to see one more spike up to above the $100 level, and that might fill that uh, pattern. And then when we get there, we want to buy it on the first retracement because uh, there is, uh, you know, more of this African swine flu is coming out. And as Rich Anderson mentioned on the afternoon show yesterday for TFNN, we've got a, a, a situation where we could easily see a dollar fifty hogs. In other words, they could almost uh, move up 40% from where we are right now. So we're trying to find another place uh, to get long. We bought it down there at that 78% level, got out way too soon. Uh, which happens some of the time, you know, leaving money on the table, one of your greatest fears, but you got to shake those fears off and move on to the next trade because history is a mystery. Just forget about it. And all you have to do is worry about what's going to happen tomorrow and keep your losses relatively small and you should be okay. Uh, let's double check a couple of these markets here this morning because uh, we're over some key astrological times and I want to see if we're going to have, uh, there we're getting up to this 2925 level here. Uh, in the S&P is what we'd like to see. It haven't opened yet, but we're certainly getting ready to get up there. Uh, pay close attention to that one, folks, because it's going to be uh, going to be very, very interesting uh, should we get there. Now, um, one other thing that I wanted to mention is the uh, uh, the uh, uh, several questions about it, and that was the uh, chart that we brought up, which was the XAU chart, and. Uh, Hold on one second. New all-time highs are quite a bit higher. I believe all-time highs are up around 29, almost around 29.60. I don't even know what it was in the S&P. had to be something like that anyway. But there's one chart that is actually quite bullish, and we're not going to know about it until Monday. But this is the XAU. Um, we were down yesterday again, but uh, we're holding. Uh, if you hold here, you'll notice here, holding right at this uh, area here, we're uh, the 74 level. Now, this is extremely bullish compared to where we are with gold, folks. Gold's making a 61% retracement. We're almost there. We're only $20 away, and we could easily get to that level. So pay very close attention to that because uh, uh, this might be a really, really good buy. Look at if this doesn't get any lower than 74 in the next two days. We got all day today, Thursday, so we got two days. If we don't get below there, 74, the next two days, this is going to be a very bullish chart. And the reason why is you made a high on February the 11th, okay? You made a low back on March, and we didn't take those lows out in March. You took it out in silver. You took it out in, in gold. You have not taken it out in the gold-silver index, even come close. So if we can hold that and we get a turn in the metals, which we're expecting on Monday, um, anytime, I guess, but Monday is where I'm expecting it, then this is a really bullish chart. You've got a 382 retracement, a 61% retracement at a really high level. And uh, all you did was for a retracement was come down and touch the January high, shut the front door and raise the rent. This is really bullish, boys and girls. I mean, it really is. It's, uh, in fact, is. Yes, let me just show you how bullish it is. If I can get up one of these long-term charts that I can show you. Oh, the trouble is I, I can never find it when I need it. Doggone it. Give me one second here. We'll, we'll try it one other time here. No, can't find it. It was the, um, it's the long-term chart for crude oil. When it was uh, at the 382 level, it stayed there for five weeks. And then when it broke out to the upside, it just took off. And uh, that, was, uh, that was a really big one. We highlighted that, the fact that if the markets don't go down, uh, they've only got one way to go, and that's up. So uh, pay close attention. If you remember the chart for Netflix, uh, this is another perfect example of, uh, you know, extreme strength in stocks. I'll bring this up because it's, uh, it's a really big one here. And uh, that's the Google. We don't want to do that one. Let's just get here, Netflix. Oh, dear, Larry, Larry, Larry. Well, there's only two more to go, so bear with me. I'll probably get it on this one. There we go. Get Netflix up here and take a look at it because uh, if you look at this, pay attention to uh, January 4th, folks. You see with the Dow down 600 points and Netflix is up on the day. Oh, my goodness. That is so bullish that you just uh, you have to be able to uh, really grasp that. Um, I mean, 
if you can't get a stock down with everything else in the sewer, that stock's going higher. Somebody knows something, and they're putting their money where their mouth is. In October 19th, 2000, uh, 1987, there were only 13 issues up on the stock exchange that day. And the, if you follow those 13, they, they were the big winners. Because uh, if you can't get a stock down with the stock market down 16% in one day, okay, 500 and some 555 points, I believe it was that day. If you can't get stocks down, those 13 stocks, they have only one way to go, and that's up. I mean, stop and think about that, folks, how bullish that really is. So if you're watching things and you see something like that happen, pay attention to it. It's just like if you get really bearish numbers or really bullish numbers and something turns the other way, it really means uh, something very, uh, very, very, very strange. We're looking at lift possibly get to 53. Uh, Mr. G, I'll post that up here so you can see it. 877. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, I'm back, folks. I posted the chart of the crude oil going back. And what, what I want you to look at is in the middle of the June of 2017, you can see that three drive to a pattern there uh, uh, coming in at the 45% retracement. This is very similar to what we're looking at with that XAU. The patterns are very similar. Uh, you know, totally different things, of course, but that, that's the pattern that we're looking at here in the uh, in the gold-silver index. So we need to pay uh, pretty close attention to that. So 
Uh, that's what I look at. Now, if you look over the far right, you'll see we're trading around 64.20 this morning, and that's the 61% retracement uh, of the move. So uh, it hasn't gone above it yet, but uh, we certainly could. But there's a little resistance up here at this 64.90 to, uh, well, that 64.90 has been the high, and we're trading around 64.20 right now. So anyway, this is why that pattern, you could just pick so many examples, but I remember the crude oil so vividly because it was setting at that level for so long, and then it uh, made that beautiful ABCD, and that's what we're seeing in that XAU if it happens. So we'll see if it's uh, looking at it. Yeah, Netflix is jumping all over the map, and you know those are those are the usual um, things. I mean, you can't really do too much. Uh, you know, what those Nasdaq stocks, folks. That you're talking about 25 stocks out of those 100 stocks that run the whole thing because they're cap weighted and you know you've got stocks that are trading for 1800 1600 stuff like that i mean it really uh it, it's a big deal so and of course apple being the leader of the pack anyway that's what we're watching in here a lot of news i guess about qualcomm and uh, apple uh you know kissing and making up but you know who knows that we'll see what happens so we'll see yes the copper is going pretty good mr z uh it looks like it's got some more legs to the upside it's held the bottom relatively well in the copper and it looks like it's got a chance that's why you know i'm uh i'm short the gold and just as nervous as heck i i thought about covering it today but i said i've been waiting for this thing for so long and if i don't miss if i miss that last twenty dollars i'll be upset but you know, we'll have to uh, do one day at a time. But boy, Monday's going to be a really big day because there's so many cycle things that are coming together uh, in the metals uh, and also in the grains, too. That's the main thing, you know. When in doubt, get out. And if you don't have a reason to be in a trade, that's the reason not to be in the trade. So those are the words from Amos Hostetter. So, and he was a pretty smart dude himself. Okay, let's move up. Uh, Let's move on to a few other things. I, I really believe we've got a chance at these grains, folks, uh, of having a big move this year. They're talking about global uh, warming over there in the UK. And if people are willing to, to uh, <laughs> can you imagine putting putting glue on you so that you can't even, uh, and that stuff is, oh, that's terrible because it affects your skin. Those people must really be uh, aficionados of uh, Al Gore. But, you know, have to wait and see how these things end up and turn out. If you want to see global warning, uh, 20 years ago when I first started going to China, uh, it was so bad over there. I mean, it's still bad, but not like, you know, it's a little better than it was. The Olympics that year helped clear things up, but you had to wear a mask all the time over in China because it was terrible. If you stayed in a room, any anything above 30 floors, uh, you, you couldn't even see the city because it was covered in this orange haze and uh oh it's uh, it was really bad now once you got out of beijing and got in you know about 50 to 100 miles outside of beijing you know it clears up really nice until you get to another city and then you'll be able to see you know that's it <laughs> you're right jose that's a good one <laughs> but that uh, that crazy glue that is that's really dangerous stuff um let's uh let's talk just a little bit more about the uh about China, I mean, it's it's an incredible. You know, it's the same size as the United States. Only they've got uh, we have 383 million people. They have 1.5 billion. So we'll see. Um, the YM is in the red. Are you joking me? Shut the front door and raise your hand. How, how high did, did we get to 25 in the S and P? Oh, we got to 23. Oh, isn't that nice? 29, 23. Shut the front door. We just missed it. Well, close enough, I guess, for government work. Keep an eye on that one, folks. That could be a real interesting one here because was there some kind of news that made this do this? Why didn't it get to 25? My number was at 29.24, and it gets to 29.23.50. I am going to talk to my attorney on this one. This is not fair. Anyway, we'll move on to the next one here and see what happens uh, with it. So let's uh, – wow, this is uh, – that's a surprise for the old cowboy. I wanted to get to 29.25. What, what's the matter with them? Why don't they fill me up there? Okay, let's move on to the next one here. Um, uh, was there some kind of? There had to be some kind of news to, for the market to drop that much. I don't know what it was. You know what I mean? It's uh, uh, well, anyway. That's what we're watching. Anyway, anybody have any questions this morning? 
wouldn't wouldn't help anybody to uh, call in um, to call in and you know give a call. Oh, Al tells me that all of the lines, uh, all of the phone lines are just uh, uh, jammed today. Too many calls coming in, so he's not even able to answer any of them. So we're going to use the Alex Baldwin approach and just keep talking until the commercial comes, which will be in two minutes, and then hopefully someone will call in at 877-927-6648. Terry, slippage is where they, they don't give you your order. When you have an order setting in at 924.50 and it gets to 920, 29.23.50 and you don't get filled, and now it's uh, 10 points under that. And, what am I just at 10 points? Uh, eight points under it. Yeah, it'll give you a chance to bounce back. You know, there's always the, hey, look, like my grandma said, if you don't like the first bus that you're on, wait, and there'll be another bus coming by uh, the next time. That's uh, pretty much what you're what you're looking at. So anyway, we'll we'll keep a close keep keep a close eye on that one for sure. All righty, here, uh, let's get down. I want to bring this goal to your attention here because here's the one that I'm really uh, involved in and really trying to be as patient as possible. You'll see here that this is where we're looking at is at 12, uh, 1262 to 1255. We are uh, 20, ooh, we're only $15 away. Could easily make it, I guess, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's what I'd love to see it on Monday. And the reason why is on Monday, that's uh, where we have the uh, thing lined up for everything perfect. We got a caller from uh, uh, New Jersey. Victor, are you there? Yeah, how you doing? I bought BGG a while ago, like two years ago and one year ago. They bought some companies, Briggs and Stratton. Pays a good mm -hmm. dividend. Do you think it can do an expansion now? It gapped up to its previous gap down. Like, what is the chart looking? Well, BGG, if you'll give me one second, I have to put it into the program, Victor, because I don't follow stocks, but I will get it up in just a second. A BGG, Briggs and Stratton, they make uh, engines yeah. for lawnmowers and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, they bought uh, generators and all. I bought, that, uh -huh. I bought it on a hurricane thing two years ago at 18. Now it's at 14, so I don't. And I bought it last year when the storm's hitting, and it's been tanking ever since. But all of a sudden, it's gapping up. It pays a good okay, dividend, let's... but I don't know that. Their balance sheet looks pretty good, like any other. Uh, well, those are things that I don't know, but I do know charts. So give me a second here, and uh, yeah. well, it's making an ABCD, Victor. So you'd be willing. This is in a big downtrend, so uh, yeah. I would be looking to get out of this stock here really pretty quickly. Let's just just draw in the ABCD for you, and then I'll post it here in the room so you can see it. And uh, let's see where we are. We are there right, now, thanks. Victor. I'm, you'll see it. I'll bring it up. Okay. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently 
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. Let's talk just a little bit about the Briggs and Stratton that Victor asked us about. You can see it's been in a long-term downtrend for quite a few years. And now all we're doing is making an ABCD correction in a bear market, and uh, it's making it right now. Point D is right there where we're trading. So uh, you certainly want to, if you believe in patterns, you would expect this market to back off after this ABCD pattern. So I would use this as an opportunity either to get short or to uh, to get out of the long. That's what I would be looking at. But uh, it's just an ABCD pattern, folks. I don't know anything about the fundamentals, as we've said many times. It's all based on pattern recognition, taking responsible for your responsibility for your trades, and that's what it's all about. Now, you want to talk about frustration, boys and girls? Let me just show you something that that uh, drives me up the wall sometimes. But you know, this was my AI forecast for this morning when I was talking about that 29, uh, 25 level, how important it was. And if you'll notice here, we we'll get this up here. You'll see uh, right after the opening. It hit 29.23 and a half. Uh, the forecast was for a down move for the rest of the day. Whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. But uh, at least it started. And here I am sitting here with a chocolate ice cream in my hand, and I don't have a bowl to put it in, and it's melting. So uh, I have to wait for the next uh, trading opportunity. So what I'll do now is I will follow a 15-minute chart on this, and maybe we'll get an ABCD pattern you know, correction uh, to a retracement back. So we'll see uh, see how that's going to go. Yes, Peter, thanks for reminding me. It's down 10 points uh, from the opening. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's move on to talk about uh, one of the FANG stocks someone's asked me about, and that FANG stock, of course, uh, is Facebook. I want to bring it up here. We talked about it yesterday. It is up against major resistance here, boys and girls. You'll, you'll notice here we're setting at the exact 61% retracement that we hit the other day uh, from the high where we made that big island reversal. And that's a, a really important one to pay attention to. Hey, we've got Mr. Z on the line. Mr. Z, how are you today, buddy? Larry, you are doing yeoman's work. Uh... Yeah, you are I'm well getting, trained yeah. for the marathon now, sir. I'm uh, I'm, a, I'm I'm getting ready for you know I do the Ironman every year here in Tucson. Yes, it's, you uh, do. I do. No, really, I, we do have a big Ironman here. Uh, we hit the Pizza Hut, the Subway, and McDonald's. That's the the triumvirate that we do for the Ironman each year here. And I've uh, I've won a bronze medal uh, four years in a row now in the knife and fork division. Anyway, well, what can I do for you, buddy? If, if, given that's the case, next time you're in Philadelphia, instead of just doing the 4th Street, we're going to go yeah. up to South and do Jimmy's yeah. and a couple of others, make sure we get three in there. <laughs> well, we're so, going to yeah, be in Larry, Philadelphia. To, uh, we got a, we got a little baby you. coming in 58 days, another little bouncing boy. So Excellent. we'll be in Philadelphia for a little time during the summer, so that'll be fun. I wanted to ask you if you'd uh, help me please on the bonds, uh, if you could pull up either your four hour, I guess your four hour chart, and very specifically, wanted to ask your help with this particular topic, namely, 
-hmm. If this decline from that 150.21 top back a month ago, or mm -hmm. whenever that was, uh, if in fact this is just a correction lower, mm -hmm. um, where is the potential bottom? Uh, where do you see, or where, if we buy it somewhere in here near this 146 level, or slightly lower if you think we get there, uh, mm -hmm. what the stop, uh, as you see it, should be playing for a rally back up to 148 and a half and conceivably higher, maybe 150.21 again. So if you uh, could help me with that, I'd appreciate it. The 15021 is going to have to come on Christmas Eve, Bubba, because it ain't got much of a chance to get back there again. If you, I posted <laughs> a chart in there, the four-hour chart. You'll notice we made that 382 level up at that 148.14. That measures down to the 78% level at 145, John. Uh, so that's what I'd be looking at. We're setting at a 61% retracement right now at 146.02. We're trading 146.10, but I think... We're heading to 145 and below 145, uh-oh, big trouble. Because uh, this head and shoulders pattern has to hold right in here on that daily or it's no good. It's already told you that it's got trouble because it couldn't get above the 382 retracement on the first ABCD move. That's a, you know, that that's a negative sign, you know. So that's what I see. I think we're going down to 145, another point lower. You know. Could I ask you to? I'm I'm looking in Tiger uh, Tiger TV in the den, and I don't see that chart. It'd be helpful if, uh, if you yeah, can post that, that for me, please. Sure. Let Let me put it up here again. We'll see. Uh, hold on a second here. There. I think that's it. I thought I posted no, it once. It. Maybe. There you go. I see it. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's what I'm looking. See if you. Fact is, what I should do is, and what I will do is, I will draw in that ABCD so that everybody can see it and we can have some fun looking at it because it comes in exactly spot on at the 78% level at 145. Ah, and, uh, there so we are. There, see, see, there's, there's so, what you're uh, looking at. You so see, uh, from your perspective, uh, you'd want to try a buy only. No, no, no. You down. could you could do it here. No, you could do it here. You're right at the 61% retracement. Your risk here is really small. Your risk kills, you know, about 250 bucks. Risk about eight ticks I, if you wanted to try right. it. Right. Yeah, nothing right, wrong with very that. Very good. I, I, uh, I see, uh, I see the scenarios you're looking at here. Um, terrific. That answers the question. Um, and um, let me ask you a, a follow-up question: Is there any chance the S&P tops in our lifetime? In our lifetime. <laughs> in your in your lifetime, John, but not in mine. <laughs> no, it, it is going to happen, you know. But I, it'll happen when yeah. nobody's. It'll happen. Look, as we're trading at twenty nine eleven now, we're down twelve handles in uh, fifteen minutes. So there's something happened today, and you know there was a big cycles coming in here. That's why we got Norm call it to the minute Winsky coming on tomorrow to talk about some of this stuff. So I don't know. I hey, I just look at the patterns. You know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And that's all you can do, so. Uh, I'll just, uh, on something related, uh, you've been speaking uh, for a, for it's probably three weeks now, how uh, the WTI crude oil has been up to and now hovering around the $64 a barrel level. Yes. That just happens to be a 618 retracement mark. Yep. Now, we haven't gone down, but, you know, we haven't gone higher than that by much. And I, uh, I just wanted to add to that, Larry. I, um, uh, in assessing oil, I look at, of course, the WTI, the CL contract. But mm -hmm. I also look at and trade the uh, Brent contract. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, it's both the same stuff. Uh, there's some... Um, key differences on where it can be delivered, and so the pricing is different. But on the, uh, on the Brent, its 618 level was 72 and a half, and Larry, we got within 25 cents of that just this morning. And like the S&P, we've rolled over at least in the past, uh, the past hour or so. I just wanted to, um, 
tell you I'm looking at that uh, and, you know, uh, doing some short scalping, looking for a potential top as you are. So uh, yep, maybe that's we'll what I'm looking at. Here. All right. Hey, thanks for calling in, John. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, Larry. Mr. Z, 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last Last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, we got a show to that this afternoon between uh, 3 and 5 p.m. I'll be setting in for Tom O'Brien. It's going to be an interesting show. I'm going over the history of CNBC, how it got started, and uh, all the folks that was involved with that. Uh, that was back in the old days, in the eight, 1980s, and uh, I was uh, still in, uh, I was in Pismo Beach, but when this started, it was back in 85, 86, I was still in uh, Westlake Village, so I, I knew Ron and Sana and all those folks. I'll go over the history of it, you might enjoy that, and I'm also going to go over the ups and downs that I've had, what I've learned and relearned and relearned and relearned, <laughs> so we'll see how uh, I think you'll enjoy it. It's uh, I don't get a chance to do this too much anymore, but uh, we'll do a little bit of it today. You can ask questions if you like, but uh, I think it'll be interesting because I met some nice people across the uh, across the spectrum of these markets over the years. Keep an eye on the stock market, folks. We've got some uh, key levels up here that we hit. Uh, well, almost hit at 29.25 in the S&P, so that should be something that would be uh, very, very interesting to look at. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll have to take whose hair piece is that, David? 
I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, oh, I don't know what that is. I, I'll, I'll not worry about that. Anyway, we'll uh, keep an eye on some of these things here. Uh, oh, Ron and Sana, yes, yes, Ron is, uh, he was from SC, he was a graduate student, and he started working at uh, TFNN, Tiger, or uh, not TFNN, Financial News Network, KWHY in uh, Los Angeles, California, great, great guy, too, God, he's just a, just a really nice fellow, nice fellow, and uh, as is as Bill Griffith, is the salt of the earth, and so is Sue Herrera, and uh, anyway, it's really great. It's uh, really super. Anyway, let's. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're very funny, David. Anyway, let's uh, let's be kind today, folks. We're in the Holy Week. You know what? We got uh, Holy Thursday tomorrow. Good Friday coming in. The, the markets will be closed. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless and do something nice for someone today, boys and girls. Mm -hmm.